Hey everyone, it's Angela with foodstorageandsurvival.com and today we are canning peaches. Canning peaches is one of my favorite canning projects because number one, it's super easy and number two, the end result is so, so good. So we're gonna walk through step by step how to can peaches and I'll show you um, all my tips and tricks along the way. Uh, first of all, the things that you're gonna need. Okay, you're gonna need some peaches you can get them at the store or you can get them off of a tree. You're gonna want not clean peaches. You want freestone peaches. And that just means that the peel's gonna come off easier and the peach is gonna separate from the pit easier. So you want to find freestone peaches. If you get clean peaches, it's just gonna make a lot more work for you. Then you'll need a water bath canner and some jars with lids and rings to be able to uh, process your peaches and you're gonna need some sugar uh, to make the syrup. And I'll show you my little cheat on the syrup later when we get to that point. All right, you ready to get started? First thing we're gonna do is wash and peel the peaches. Here's how to do it so it's super simple. All right, for washing and peeling the peaches, here's the process. Get a pot of water and heat it up and then you put your peaches into that hot water. It can be boiling or, um, or just getting hot. Now, when the peaches are in there, they're going to change color. So here's a regular peach, and here's one that's been in the water, and you can see how it's kind of dulled, and that means that they're ready to be taken out. So you scoop those peaches out of the water, out of the hot water, and you're going to put them into cold water. Now I put my cold water in the sink and um, scoop my peaches out with a spoon because I want them to look pretty. I did have a mesh uh, basket that I'd lower them into the pot with and then pull them out, but then the ones on the bottom got kind of mashed up and crazy looking. So um, I I'm willing to go through this tedious step of scooping them out with a spoon. <laughs> there might be an easier way. You can just dump the whole pot, if that's all the peaches that you have, into so the peaches go into a strainer. And, uh, but I like, I'm gonna use this water again. I, I don't wanna heat up a whole nother pot of water when this water's already hot. I can get two or three batches through this same water before it starts getting kind of grungy. Now, that's the other thing, is that I don't actually wash the peaches unless they're really gross. I mean, if they've got bird poop on them or something, then I wash them off. But in general, I don't wash the peaches simply because they're sitting in this almost boiling water and the peels are all coming off anyway. So it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of dirt on them or whatever. Okay, so we're gonna scoop them out of the hot water and put them into cold water. And the cold water is in the sink and that's called blanching the peaches. And that's gonna make the peels come off super easy. Okay, now we've got the peaches into the cold water in the sink and we're going to peel them and pit them and put them into a bowl and in the bowl I have a mixture of two quarts of water and two quarts of fruit fresh and fruit fresh is just a uh, color preserver. You can get it in the canning section at your store or I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can find it online. Uh, this just helps keep your peaches from going brown while you're waiting to can them. So it's totally optional, but it does kind of make a prettier product. All right, so now that you have blanched your peaches, they peel really easily. The peel just pulls right off. If they don't peel easily at this point, then they are probably not quite ripe. or you got a clean peach. Okay, once you've peeled it, then you can see where it kind of wants to split on its own. I just get in and follow that around with a knife and use the knife to kind of pry it apart, pull the pit out and drop those halves into that water to wait for, uh, wait for canning. Okay, we'll get through this sink here. All right, once you've got your peaches peeled and pitted, then um, and sliced in half or you can slice them into slices if you want something a little smaller then we need to get prepped for canning them so the first thing that we want to do is get some water in the canner 
I put hot water into my canner and this is a large size canner it'll hold nine quart jars and I just put hot water out of the tap into it and I'm not heating it up yet um, I'll explain why in just a second but first of all I'm canning outside on my back porch using a Camp Chef Explorer stove um, really a slick little setup it helps keep my kitchen clean and not so hot so I really enjoy uh, using the outdoor <laughs> Camp Chef stove for canning now the reason that I'm not putting not heating up this water is because we're doing a raw pack method on the peaches and so the peaches in the jars are not going to be super hot when they're ready to can and if your water's too hot and you drop those peach jars in there that aren't as hot you can bust the bottoms right out of your canning jars so don't heat up the water yet just put it in you can put hot water out of the tap in there but uh, don't get your water too hot in your canner while we're waiting for the peach jars to go in. Okay, next thing you want to prep is your jars and your lids and your rings. Okay, so we have our jars and they've been washed, sterilized. You can run them through your dishwasher or just wash them in hot soapy water in your sink. You want to have rings for that fit your jars. So if you've got wide mouth jars, have wide mouth rings. If you have narrow mouth jars, have the narrow mouth rings. And um, and then the lids and the lids same deal um, I have a couple of narrow mouths I'm using and then wide mouths for the rest of them and so I put in seven wide mouths and two narrow mouths that's what I'm gonna be using so you put those in a pan cover them with water and then put them on your stove on low so that they will warm up you don't want them to boil just get them warm okay we've got all that prepped so now we are ready to fill these jars with peaches and here's where we're gonna cheat just a little bit in making the syrup um, most canning books will tell you to make a syrup in a pot where you mix a ratio of water and sugar and what we're gonna do is mix it into each jar instead it is slightly less messy and also helps to ensure that I get the same amount of sugar in each jar so that I have a uniform end product plus it's kind of faster and easier so this is not out of your canning book but this is how I do my can uh, sugar syrups for canning fruits all right so for each jar for a light syrup in a quart jar you're going to put in a quarter of a cup of sugar for a heavy syrup it's a half a cup of sugar so for peaches for my peaches I go slightly less than a half so I go a, a scant half cup and just put it into the jar and then I use a canning funnel that helps it go in easy okay and then I'm gonna put hot water into this jar and I just do right out of my tap you could uh, you could cook it on the stove if you want to nice and hot and then you want just enough to kind of be able to dissolve that sugar and I swirl it around until the sugar has dissolved fairly well in there and that keeps the sugar from just turning into a glob of sugar at the bottom of the jar it'll make it so that it's it's evenly distributed and you don't end up with a, a gooey mess at the bottom all right once that sugar is dissolved into the water in the jar and it turned out to be about a half a cup of water I was putting in there so a little less than half a cup of sugar and about a half a cup of hot water then we're going to fill them with the peaches and you can you can put these in carefully and make them look all pretty but I just drop them in and fill the jar up to the top well to about um, the top of the neck so where it starts widening right after the rim here where you're gonna screw it on you want to fill up to to right about that point I'll put a couple more in here all right we'll fill all the jars like that all right last couple steps before we put the lids on and can them here so we put the peaches into the jar up to the neck then we just need to make sure that we've got liquid up to the neck so some of these aren't quite as full as they need to be so we fill them up so you got about half inch head space and then wipe that rim to make sure that there's no 
residue or sticky stuff or little peach bits on there to make sure you're going to get a good seal. So do that for each of your jars and then we'll be ready to put the lids on. Okay, now we're going to put the lids on the jars and get them ready to go into the canner. Um, there are magnetic lid lifter tools that you can use to get your lids out, but I just use a fork and kind of lift up the lid that I want and grab it because they're hot, but they're not that hot. Like as fast as you're putting them on, it's not going to hurt you. Okay, and you want these on finger tight, so nice and snug, not too, too tight. That's officially as tight as you can put it on using just the force of your fingers. And you want to get it on while it's still hot so that that gooey stuff on the bottom of the lid kind of sets down and seals onto the jar. All right, as soon as you've got all your lids on, then it's ready to go into the canner. Okay, now we have the peaches in the jars with the lids screwed on and we've got them into the canner full of water. We've turned the heat on the, can the uh, stove and we're going to drop these peaches in to the water. You want at least an inch of water up over the top of the peaches. Um, there's plenty in here. We're probably going to be boiling over, but it's not a big deal because, hey, it's outside. Okay, then put your lid on and we're going to process pints 25 minutes and quarts 30 minutes but you want to adjust your timing for altitude. Okay, here's my book, Food Storage for Self-Sufficiency and Survival. And in this book, I have a chapter that covers canning. And there is the chart. You're getting that for adjusting. So if you're between 1,000 and 3,000 feet, you add five minutes. If you're between 3,000 and 6,000, you add 10 minutes. Uh, 6,000 to 8,000 add 15 and 8,000 to 10,000 add 20 minutes. So I am in the uh, 3 to 6,000 so we're going to process for 40 minutes. You start your processing time when it starts boiling. Not right now. It's got to heat up and start boiling. And so when it's boiling then we start the processing time and it'll be 40 minutes and they'll be ready to pull out. Alright, when your processing time is done you want to remove the canner from the heat. So on a gas stove like this, or a gas stove in your kitchen, you can just turn the heat off, and then it's off the heat. On an electric stove, you're going to want to move it off the heat. And then, you remove the jars. And, let's see, you get this already. I get my hot pads on the right pads. Okay, we have a jar lifter tool. Now, if you're going to invest in anything uh, any e extra accessories for your canning. That canning funnel and this jar lifter tool are two that you definitely want to get. Alright. Okay, lift the jars up. And then use the jar lifter tool to pull them out of the canner and place them on a rack to cool. Now I'm outside canning so I just set them on the seat on my deck. It's a wooden bench and it uh, they can cool there and kind of drip and um, and then when I go to clean it off I just take a hose and hose the thing off. Okay so those will cool and the lids will pop down and seal and any that don't seal just put them in your fridge and those are the ones you're going to eat first but um, they should seal up fine and uh, you can go they can go on your shelf. All right, and that's Canning Peaches. Thanks for joining me. It's Angela, foodstorageandsurvival.com.